shit, it is hot as a motherfucking here. Suddenly summer, <laughs> Jesus. What is up, you beautiful, beautiful people on this beautiful, beautiful day? Oh, summer is fully and properly here. It's like 23 degrees today. Lovely in the sun, lovely in the shade, the leaves are out. Everything's just great. Absolutely brilliant. You know how it is, I love this time of the year, except for the hay fever, but you kind of take that on the chin, get some antihistamines in you and just dose up uh, on her energy drinks. That's basically all I do. Good afternoon to you too, sir. Right. I'm not even going to apologise for not being uh, not being around lately. I just I've been so friggin' busy. Um, I've got this kind of freelance job thing going on outside of my work schedule, so that's keeping me busy. Um, on top of that, like any spare time that I have, I'm playing World of Warcraft because yeah, I'm really addicted to that. Um, I've also been playing a bit of Forza Motorsport again, free time, so I just haven't really had the time or the desire to make any videos. But I thought I'd make one today because there are two things happening very soon that I'm hugely excited about. Like properly, properly, like you know when you're, you're counting down the days towards something happening. What are the two things that I'm getting super excited about? Well, come on people, am I way? Are you going right? I hope so. Good. Okay. Firstly, and probably the most relevant to you guys, the Big Fat Sausage Fest. Yes, that's right spicy. 110, the ever illustrious and somewhat surprisingly tall Spicy 110 has organised um, another sausage fest for us. That's right, it is happening I believe on the 17th of June, starts at 12 o'clock, it is at Lumi's Moto Cafe as per usual, which if you don't know where that is, it's in Hampshire, it's about uh, 45 minutes away from the south of Guildford. Beautiful place to go. Definitely recommend it. Afternoon to you too. You didn't even nod back, you grumpy little L rider wanker. Ah, don't nod back then. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be there as usual. And in fact, I'm even going to give you my route. So that should you wish to join me, you can. I will be departing reasonably early in the morning with the objective of getting to Lumi's for about I'd say 11 o'clock in the morning. I want to get there relatively early this time. Last time I arrived at about quarter to one and it was already really busy and people were already hot and kind of worn out. And I'm going to try and get there for 11 o'clock, which means I'm going to be leaving Colchester relatively early morning. I'm going to be heading, uh, I'm going to, be heading to the Bungalow Diner in Mark's Tay and I'm going to get there by 8 o'clock. So it's Mark's Tay, it's just off the A12. If you want to meet me there, I'm going to be there at 8 o'clock and I'm going to be leaving at 8.15 and no later. I want I want wheels spinning at 8.15. My next stop is going to be, not Clackett Lane, what's the other one called? What's the other services on the M25 called? Come on, help me out here guys. Uh, ship, Cobham, Cobham Services, that's going to be my next stop. I'm only stopping there for fuel. So. If you want to meet me there, hang out at the petrol station. I will be there probably between half nine and ten o'clock, I would imagine. I'm not sure because I haven't checked how long it takes to actually get from Mark's Tate to Cobham at that time in the morning. From there I will be then blasting down the A3 through Guildford turning off at the Petersfield turn off on the A3 to head to Lumi. So I'm not taking an exciting route. I am sorry about that. I'm taking the, the very boring route. But if you want to join me, you can. I will say, we're not gonna, if you do want to join me, I'm not going to be doing city speeds, literally just like 70, 80 mile an hour, probably sensible riding, matching the speed of the traffic on the motorway. Uh, so no fart arsing around, no wheelies, no bullshit like that. Also, I'm going to be just going at my own pace. Last time I did this, I spent a lot of time checking my mirrors, and honestly, it actually gets pretty exhausting. 
um, just checking my mirrors, making sure you're with me. If you if you lose me, tough titties. Just you just have to make your own way there. Um, if you go ahead of me, fine, whatever. You know, and I'll see you at the cafe. It's cool. I don't I don't mind if you just shoot off. If you get bored of the pace that I'm going, and you want to go faster, just go for it. Ride your own ride, as they say. And uh, finally, the other really exciting thing that's happening that I've been spending quite a bit of time organising is um, I'm going to Scotland in July. Yeah, my grandparents, I'm very lucky, I'm a lucky boy. My grand, oh, I'm bored of this. My grandparents live in Inverness, which is way, way up in the northern parts of Scotland. I'm not actually Scottish, they lived in Kent for most of their lives and they moved to Scotland when they came to retirement, so. Yeah, no way, I'm looking at you. Who's going to be the pillar that's going to stop in the keep clear box? Is it going to be you, love? Oh, look at this traffic. Weather's lovely, traffic's awful. That's per friggin' usual. Yeah, fucking. What a nudging. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to be heading up to Scotland, and unfortunately, I would say come and ride with me, but that's going to be a long ride. I'm also splitting the journey up into two, there's no way I'm doing that entire ride in one hit. Um, so I'm going to be stopping in Carlisle on the way up, and not kind of hanging out there. However, the journey back, I will be stopping by with Grizzly Moto, so if you are in the general Carlisle area, and you know Grizzly Moto, I'm, well, I'm hoping to stop with Grizzly Moto, um, if, he's, if his property is ready to have visitors by that point. He's hoping it will. We'll see. Cyclist running a red light. No freaking surprise there. Smurry made a, bit, made a video about Cyclist running red lights, didn't he? Just blasting straight through. I mean, I know it's a pedestrian crossing, but the rules still apply to you, dude. No, don't give it. It was Amber, officer. Fucking hypocrite, aren't I? <laughs> it's too hot to ride that slowly, Jesus. So yeah, if you um, if I do if I do go ahead and stay, oh, did I just knock my microphone out? No, nope, good. If I do go ahead and stay with Grizzly Moto, and uh, Grizzly's up for it. Well, you may be able to join us. We might sort of go out or something, because the weather should be nice. It's July, you know, that's pretty much smack bang middle of the summer. We'll see. Anyway, that's all. That is the update from V-Twin Vlogster on this beautiful, beautiful, sunny Thursday afternoon. It's half term in a minute. It's just, like, I keep seeing kids everywhere. I'm like, why aren't you at school? But of course it's half term. They don't have to be at school, they're lucky fuckers. Between blocks are out. Take it easy. <laughs>